Hi, this is Shaleen from CDOCS Orthodontics. Today's tip of the day is about IPR. IPR is something that can be super helpful in making sure that the teeth can actually not only align themselves, but they can actually be in the center of the bone and create that symbiotic relationship that we're gonna need for the patient's lifetime between the teeth as well as the underlying bone. The sure smile system is really good in calculating out what is that arch length discrepancy. As we remember, it's quite simple. It's arch circumference available minus, minus arch circumference required. If there's too much tooth mass or the aggregate total of all the teeth in the given arch exceeds the given linear length of bone, then we need space genesis to be able to help us. My general recommendation is that if there is six millimeters of crowding or less within an arch, that could be resolved with IPR in addition to tooth movement. That IPR is something that's gonna be calculated out in the algorithm of SureSmile, and what they will show is where are the locations of that IPR. If you're deciding on how much to do and the magnitude of the that IPR at each session, you have a couple options. First is in the SureSmile system, you can actually preload all of the IPR should you want at uh, at the first aligner. You can make that request directly to the digital ortho lab team or under your clinical settings, under the preferences, you can say uh, in the checkbox, it'll say IPR at first stage. If you prefer to do the IPR over a series of appointments, then that can also be requested to the digital ortho lab. When performing IPR at the outset, if this is your uh, first time and you're deciding whether to do exactly at the amount, above or below, my recommendation is always to do slightly below. As you go ahead and do the IPR, you're gonna want to go back with a flex view strip to go ahead and round out whatever um, you have reduced in the, in the enamel between those teeth, and that can end up um, increasing that total amount of IPR. So by underdoing it, you'll at least be always in the safe zone. It's a lot easier to go back and do additional IPR than it is to do tooth addition. I hope that this was of help and don't forget always to enhance that orthodontic and restorative relationship and please refer those patients by the age of seven to give all of the orthodontic teams the best opportunity to take care of your patients.